Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, this video is just a response to a couple of emails that I've had from a couple of the subscribers uh, asking me really how I go about stripping the models of old paint. Um, the Terminators you can see in front of you are actually part of a haul that I got the other weekend at a boot sale. Um, there was a guy who was selling his whole entire army I think from when he was a kid. Uh, I got probably about 180 quid's worth of stuff I think when I checked it on the Games Workshop's website and I got it for a fiver so it was quite a steal. Um, these Terminators, I couldn't remove the torsos or heads so I had to cut one of the heads off one of them um, and cut all the arms off and cut the bases off so the bodies are going to be how they are but i'm going to green stuff and, and pin the arms and try and get some different poses with them um but like i said the video is about how to how to strip models a couple of people have asked me so i thought i'd do a sort of tutorial video on how to do it um i thought these guys would be a good a good sort of tester to show you guys uh, i will do a separate one for metal models just because uh, they're even easier to do when it comes to what product to use, there's a couple out there that people suggest. I've tried all of them, and personally for me, I, I find that Detol is probably the best one. There are people who say the Fairy Power Spray is as good. It, I tried it, I had mixed results, so I'd, and I've never had a problem with Detol, so I thought I'd stick to it. Um, now, with regards to the Detol, a couple of people have said, oh, they've tried different Detols, and it hasn't worked for them, and it's made the models smell funny and things like that. That's probably because you're either using the wrong Detol. Now, the one that you need is this one. This is the antiseptic round Dettol. Don't buy the purple one, don't buy the orange one or any of the scented ones. Dettol has naturally got a scent anyway, uh, but this is the one you want. You can get it quite cheaply in most convenience stores, Tesco's, Sainsbury's, all those different places. Best place to get it from really would be a big sort of Costco if you've got a card or something like that. Um, so this is the Dettol that you need. Um, a couple of other things that you'll need. You need a really firm and cheap toothbrush. Now this one I think cost me about 30p. I got it from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or somewhere like that. Um, basically you want to buy yourself a toothbrush that you would never put near your gums because it would rip them to shreds. The firmest, most horrible toothbrush you can imagine. Um, because it was going to get knackered anyway uh, and another the final thing you'll need is you're going to need a container of some sort i use a, an old ice cream container you can use tupperwares preferably get one that's sealable that doesn't allow the uh, the smell of the detail to come out because it is, has got quite a strong smell it's not that it's a horrible smell it's just it, it kind of gets up your nose after a while um, so that's what you're going to need you're going to need a, a container you're going to need obviously the right detail and a really firm toothbrush what you do is you fill the container up with all the detail that you've got you dunk the models in so they're covered and then you leave them for 24 hours so that's what i'm going to do with these guys i'm going to leave, put them in now um, and leave them for 24 hours and you'll see in a minute uh, in a sec you'll see what it what, uh, after, what they look like after being left in for 24 hours so keep watching guys Hi guys, so it's 24 hours later. Um, as you can see, the Terminators have been completely submerged in Dettol uh, for the full period. It does start to work after a shorter period of time, but I'd advise the best thing to do is to leave them in for the full 24 hours. So, what you got in front of you, uh, obviously the pot would contain the Dettol and the Terminators, trusty toothbrush, um, and then to the left you've got a pot which has got just, I normally put sort of cold or lukewarm water in it to transfer once you've fully scrubbed them. Um, what you're going to need to do, because I haven't got a tripod at the moment so I'm going to have to explain it and then show you afterwards, um, you need to fully scrub them in the Dettol, don't transfer them into the water, you need to basically make sure that they're scrubbed fully in the Dettol, use the Dettol as a cleaning agent to uh, scrub because the problem is, is if you scrub them and then wash them with water straight away once they're not completely clean the models become really sticky because it's, it's a chemical reaction between the water and the Dettol um, and obviously the plastic and the paint so the best thing to do is fully scrub them using the Dettol as a cleaning agent once they're fully clean and you can see there's no no major major pit bits of paint left on the model then transfer them into the water pot to, to rinse basically leave them soaking in there for while you're cleaning the rest of the models um, and then I'll go and show you the next part after this so I'm going to go and clean these all up I'm sorry that I can't show the camera straight camera while I'm doing it it's just purely because I haven't got a tripod um, so as soon as it's the, I've done it will go, I will jump to the next part of the video which is obviously them after they've been rinsed so you can see with the uh, the results uh, keep watching guys hi guys so they've all been scrubbed and they've been rinsed and this is how they've turned out so as you can see, most of them have come up between sort of 90% to, well, 
basically 90% of the plastic. There are some dark marks left in some of the recesses, but once that's sprayed over, these are going to be sprayed black anyway. Um, so they, you won't really see any the, the slight amount of black that's left in some of the crevices and detail. It, it won't really make any difference whatsoever. Um, but they've all come up quite nice. Um, what I would suggest is, like I was saying to you from the pre earlier part of the video, when you're scrubbing them, make sure that you scrub them fully, then rinse them in the pot to the left. You can leave them soaking. I did say you can leave them soaking as if you want to. I normally don't. I normally rinse them and do one at a time. It's up to you here. Yeah, it depends how you want to do them. You can leave them in the pot soaking, but it's it's horses for different courses. So I normally rinse them, give them a shake in the water on in the pot that you have on that's just got the water in it and then put them onto some paper towel or something just to let them drain. Um but you can do it either or either or after you've done them all and they're all washed and sort of like drained on the sides then you want to basically rinse them under the tap, each of them. Again, just rinse them again to make sure you get all the detail off. Give them, like you would when you get some Forge World models, you give them a, a wash to sort of like get rid of any grease or anything of that, the that, that, that agent. You do the same thing because obviously you don't want the detail left on the um, on the model. So have a quick look around at how some of them have come out. As you can see, they're, they've come out really well. All the uh, detail is still there. And you can see that it's got rid of, I'd say 95% of the paint. You're never going to get rid of all the black in, in the finer the finer parts of the detail. But aside from that, um, once they're sprayed up and primed again, you won't notice it. Um, it's just a shame with these models, because I've got them from a boot sale, it's just a shame that I can't take the torsos off. Um, but yeah, it's, I'll have to work around it. So in the video that I'll have of these guys once they're being made up, I think I'm probably going to use these for my Legion of the Damned. Um, so I'm going to be spraying the black so that the small black details aren't really going to make a big difference anyway. Um, but all the weapons have come out nice and clean. Um, as you can see, I cut the arms off the bodies just because I couldn't remove them any other way. Um, I was missing a few storm bolters. There was a couple of arms missing, but I've got some spares, so I should be able to make the squad fine. Um, but but that's it, guys. It's really easy to to, uh, to clean the models. It, it's really, really cost-effective. Um, Detto isn't expensive. Um, and, and if you do it the right way and you don't obviously mix them with the water so they become sticky, you, you'll be fine. Perfect way for saving money. eBay's your best friend. You can get models off there. You can doesn't matter what condition the paint painted they're in. You can strip them and then you can paint them back up to however to however you want. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or message me. Um, if you you find this useful and you obviously do, uh, do detail some models and you do it in a video, then obviously please leave it as a response. Any comments, criticism, good or bad, is always appreciated. And as always, please obviously subscribe to the channel. Thanks ever so much, guys. Take care.